Hi everyone, welcome to BISP Trainings. My name is Faiz Alam and uh, from today we'll be looking at an, another uh, ERP module uh, that is marketing automation. So let's begin. So marketing is the process of getting potential clients or the customers who are interested in the products and services. It is also about uh, building awareness about the brand and the organization as well. So various business functions uh, that like uh, selling, uh, advertising, logistic, these are all the parts of marketing. When it comes to marketing automation, so it is a process where technology is used to automate uh, several repetitive tasks that are undertaken on a regular basis in a marketing campaign. It is a cloud-based software uh, which enables organization to effectively manage the companies or the communication they have with their customers and prospects. So companies are using uh, basically this software are, is used by the companies to deploy uh, and automate the uh, outbound targeted cam campaigns and inbound marketing to generate more leads, deliver better quality uh, and opportunities for sale and to the required uh, return on investment. So marketing automation is not a channel, but it is a definition of the channel that is used for the purpose of making the marketing process automated. It is actually an integral part of the CRM that is customer relationship management. It gives us an idea of how closely marketing automation and customer service are linked together. There can be uh, various examples for it, like sending out the surveys to gain feedback on product services and any updates are there. So these are all the examples that is uh, you, uh, that is basically there for marketing automation. It also enables us to give a richer, more detailed picture of the behavior of potential customers. And talking about the uh, tools that are used for the marketing automation, we have HubSpot, Active campaign and many more examples are there that is used for uh, automating this process. The previous uh, slide that uh, it is a process that is used to automate the customer journeys from acquisition and onboarding to on uh, going customer service and success. So now uh, comes the functionalities and the working of the marketing automation. So firstly, it is connected connected with the lead generation. You can uh, see in this slide, a uh, uh, best marketing strategy is one that has the capability of uh, converting its lead. Firstly, uh, we have to generate the leads. Leads are the, leads are not the customers. They are, you know, uh, our unqualified contacts whom we have to establish contact. So uh, when uh, the customers uh, get onto our website and get to know about the product when they are agree uh, and uh, satisfied with our product so they uh, contact us and they become our prospect and then from prospect we have our uh, ready uh, customers so a good marketing strategy is the one uh, that uh, has the capability of flatten this uh, funnel that you can see so what happens here the first and foremost uh, functional function of marketing automation is it collects data about the potential customer through website visits, um, app usage, email clicks and other digital marketing interaction. Then comes based on that data that have been collected, uh, relevant and useful uh, content is created. After that, they, have, they identify, target and segment the prospect customer. Then uh, they uh, move towards the designing of the campaign. And at last, uh, after designing the campaign, that is marketing campaign, uh, they analyze and track the results. Like uh, they indulge in uh, finding out what's not working and adjust uh, as needed to achieve the uh, greater return on their material uh, marketing investment. So this is the basic functionality of marketing automation. So if we talk about the uh, NetSuite marketing automation, so these are the uh, five uh, steps uh, that we will be knowing. Uh, firstly, we have the lead capture. So uh, NetSuite handles a variety of lead generation uh, procedure. And one way is uh, leads can be captured using the online customer forms. Uh, another way is uh, they can track the lead source for web store visitors and all. Then we have the other uh, a feature in NetSuite that is managing campaign. 
so we can create and uh, execute cam campaigns that give us maximum visibility into the impact each campaign has on the business then comes the email campaign so here the integrated marketing uh, tool enables us to create and track all the aspects of the email campaign then comes the intelligent recommendation so this feature this marketing automation feature uses the artificial intelligence algorithm in order to uh, calculate and display the items the customers may be interested in buying and at last we are having the campaign analysis that can be done with the help of a campaign uh, roi analysis summary report and detailed report and how much revenue has been uh, generated with the required campaigns all these things can very well be analyzed under the campaign analysis that is the last step so in a nutshell uh, as we have seen in the previous slide uh, these are the four uh, basic steps that are followed so first we have to gather the context uh, that can be done uh, uh, by creating online customer forms wherein uh, the initial or the leads uh, entered our website and get to know our, our our products so that can be done with the help of online customer forms uh, the next step is uh, we have to segment the audience we have to create certain groups uh, that are uh, based on the requirement that can be for any contacts any case uh, audience is there so we have to segment or divide those uh, groups or create those groups these can be dynamic or static then we have to send the mail short and this is done with the uh, marketing campaigns and email uh, campaigns wherein we have to uh, set a certain uh, preferences for sending the required emails to our customers or uh, to our potential customers and at last we are having the uh, reporting or the uh, we can say that analysis of our <laughs> of our campaign that can be done uh, by viewing the report like how much revenue have been generated uh, and sorry how much uh, customers have been created and how much revenue uh, have been generated with that so that all can be done with the help of these reports option so as part of the initial setup for uh, working out on the marketing automation feature uh, as uh, we have to uh, gather the required uh, clients information that can be done with the help of online customer form but before that we have to uh, set up or purchase certain domain so for that we'll go into setup marketing here we have the option of domain that is required to be purchased so what is domain it is the address of the physical location on the web server at which a website is located that you that our clients or leads usually visit so in order to make web website available to the customer uh, we have to purchase a domain name from a domain name provider then we have to create a domain on a netsuite server and then we have to link the domain and the domain name together so these are all the prerequisites that are there so here you can see that uh, we have to firstly select the domain type these are the various options that we can select based on the requirement if we are taking opting the email campaign promotional url web store only but basically this single domain for web store and checkouts is used uh, for the purpose of shopping and all then we can provide a distinct name to the domain and after providing the domain name this cname alias will be automatically generated by the system and this is used and this value that is appearing here will be used uh to configure the uh, domain name uh, setting uh, with the domain provider then uh, here we are having the option you can see that all these fields are mandatory here so the websites that uh, uses the domain is appearing here we can select that and all the websites that are compatible with the uh, domain type the domain type that has uh, been selected here followed by that the websites are appearing here then comes the hosting route This is basically used for the live uh, sites, uh, so we have to select the hosting files here. Uh, clicking on this drop down, you can see that these are all the files that are available to us. So we can select that. So after providing these three uh, uh, mandatory uh, mandatory uh, values here, if we go down, so under the certification, uh, we are having the automatic and manual options here. so if we select automatic so we have to agree to certain uh, conditions here so you can see that if i check this box so these are all the various terms and conditions we can either agree or disagree with this so this is about the automatic uh, certification if i select manual here 
so for uh, after selecting manual uh, we have to generate the cr csr file that is a certificate signing request so after generating that file we have to upload that certificate and again if we check this box so there are certain uh, conditions uh, that uh, we can agree or disagree upon so usually the automatic is selected and this is about the advanced uh, domain setting uh, i am not getting into it so this is about the ba ba basic setup uh, while uh, creating or purchasing a domain and after providing it we can click on save that uh, domain will be generated on which our customer can visit and get to know the get to know about the required product and the organization so that's all about the topic thank you